Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Oh, it just keeps getting worse for them. It seems to be the theme of the week. The whole Nancy Pelosi thing starting off with just a House report, then leading to the release of the Ray Epps transcript, then the release of text messages involving Nancy Pelosi's staff and the House Sergeant at Arms, absolutely blowing up the January 6th narrative in their face, and now this with Democrat Katie Porter. The video I created on this topic being the most viral of videos that I've made in weeks, possibly months, it started off with leaked text messages showing just how much of a frankly bad human being Mrs. Katie Porter is. We can call her Mrs. Katie Karen Porter. And well, it gets worse. An individual intimately involved with Mrs. Katie Karen Porter, a person I mentioned in the first video that I recorded, Mrs. Georgiades, I believe her name was Sasha Georgiades, is now spilling the beans. And it turns out that this whole Katie Porter's character, well, it's even worse than initially thought. Sasha Georgiades is painting a picture that Democrat representative Katie Porter is an angry, vile, and disrespectful human being. And what she has to say is shocking. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean as things just continue to get worse for these Democrats and we continue to cover this phenomenon of these supposed woke compassionate liberals always being exposed as absolutely terrible human beings, we got some stuff to get into. So of course, let's roll the tape. All right, folks, take a look at this. Democrat Katie Porter accused of ridiculing those concerned about harassment in her office. Of course, harassment of an adult nature is how I tend to say it, and mocking virus victims. Democratic Representative Katie Porter of California has been accused by a former staffer of denigrating people for reporting adult-style harassment and of other demeaning remarks. These claims come just days after text messages leaked, indicating that Porter may have fired a staffer over her virus 19 diagnosis. What are the details? The Huffington Post noted in 2018 that Porter, endorsed by Senator Elizabeth Warren, of course she is, and Vice President Kamala Harris, of course she is, was previously in an abusive relationship and subjected to adult-style harassment at home. Despite Porter's possible personal insights into the gravity of the issue, one of her former staffers, Sasha Georgiades, indicated that the Democrats Democratic Congresswoman berated at least one other staffer who had reported adult-style harassment in her office, reported Fox News Digital. A U.S. Navy veteran and former wounded warrior fellow for Porter, Mrs. Georgiades, suggested that the Congresswoman ridiculed people for reporting adult-style harassment. Georgiades said that one staffer, who has yet to file anything with the Ethics Committee, spoke about the matter of this type of harassment in the Congresswoman's office with Porter personally. Porter basically told the individual to quote, grow up, said Georgiades, prompting the staffer to leave her post shortly thereafter. I mean, just wow. You know, these are the same people who label themselves feminists, the same individuals who promote false allegations against people like Brett Kavanaugh, the people who use these kind of allegations when it targets their opponents as a political tool to virtue signal, but when it happens in their own damn office, allegedly when a young female staffer confided in Democrat Representative Katie Porter over an in-office issue of adult-style harassment, Katie Porter told this young woman to grow up. Wow. I wasn't exaggerating when I said in the intro that Mrs. Katie Porter is possibly, is allegedly, an absolutely vile, terrible human being. It's always the ones who are constantly screaming for recognition about just how virtuous they are that end up being the worst. I mean, this level of hypocrisy is just absurd. No wonder she's endorsed by Elizabeth Warren, serial liar, and Kamala Harris, sociopathic prosecutor, putting innocent people in jail and minority men in jail for nonviolent drug offenses. No wonder these individuals seem to travel in groups. But let's continue on with the article. Extra to allegedly dissuading people from highlighting potential abuse in her office, Georgiata said that Porter made fun of individuals whose parents passed away from the virus. While the virus suffered by others may be a laughing matter for the Democrat representative, the laughing evidently stops at her front door. The Blaze previously reported that Georgiades was apparently fired over her virus 19 diagnosis that supposedly led to Porter's infection. We covered that in the previous video, and the most damning element was that apparently Mrs. Porter, who was at the time livid that her staffer didn't go through the proper screening process to enter the office, in other words, the test
testing process, allegedly, apparently, even after she had received this infection, she showed up to a public event even after she confirmed the status of her own personal infection. This seems to be a pattern of behavior, an individual who's manipulative, rude, angry, and most importantly, utterly disrespectful. But to go back on the whole harassment of an adult nature, here's a former staffer speaking out and confirming or corroborating previous posts. Once again from Dear White Staffers, Anon please, as someone who also worked in Porter's office, I can confirm what prior staffers said. I can also personally confirm that adult style harassment is not taken seriously and is swept under the rug. Another complaint suggested that Katie Porter is abusive, unable to cope with basic demands of being a member, so she takes it out on staff, says rude and racist things, anti-black especially, and tries to mask it as quote, edgy humor. Porter was always screaming at her staffers over the phone during fundraiser call time. I love her, but I've never hated my life more than when I worked for her. I've worked for many representatives, and her campaign has more turnover, more burnt out 22 to 25 year olds than I've ever seen, including myself, said another anonymous complaint. And so actually, here's a little comparison that we could make. You know, I've gone on the record absolutely condemning this little fake Republican creature known as George Santos. You know, the fake Republican fraudster, George Santos, who claimed that his grandparents survived the Holocaust as he lied about his resume and pretended that he was of Jewish descent. Because my grandparents survived the Holocaust. I've given my opinion of how I feel about this guy, but I also said in that video that I don't want to hear a peep from any Democrat outraged over George Santos the fraudster when you elected the biggest fraud in American political history, Joe Biden. Not to mention Representative Blumenthal and Senator Elizabeth Warren. I mean, the list goes on. But the point that I'm trying to get at here is that Democrats are going on and on about George Santos. He lied about his resume. He lied about his cultural background. Hello, wake up, leftoids. You're outraged over George Santos. Meanwhile, Democrat Representative Katie Porter is now being targeted with these credible allegations. I mean, the double standard is just incredible now, isn't it? More Democrat double standard and more evidence of these woke woke leftoids and Democrat thought leaders and politicians just being bad people. And you know, actually, here's another thing. Katie Porter, who allegedly herself suffered harassment, here she is during a House hearing going on the record trying to vilify people who use the term groomer. You know, this allegation of groomer and pedophile, it is alleging that a person is criminal somehow and engaged in criminal acts merely because of, of their identity. Um, their sexual orientation, their gender identity. Um, so this is clearly prohibited under Twitter's content, yet you found hundreds of these posts on the platform. Not exactly sure how she justifies that one. A very interesting stance to say the least. But yet again, more evidence that she's just objectively not a good person. And it continues to get worse for Mrs. Katie Karen Porter. That's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel if you guys feel like joining us here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.